Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you all how we can accept some user input in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, here's how we can accept some user input. Now, when we do accept user input, it's of the string data type. So let's create a variable to hold and store our input. Let's create a variable named name, and we will ask the user for what their name is. Now to read some user input, type console.readLine, then parentheses, semicolon. So when the user types in something, then hits enter, we will take that user input and store it within this variable name, which we can then use for something. So within a right line statement, let's use the user's name for something. Hello plus name. And let's take a look. Okay, now to enter in some user input, we'll have to type this into the console directly. However, it is good practice to let the user know what we want them to type in exactly because how's the user supposed to know that they're supposed to type in their name right here? So what we'll do is preceding our read line statement, let's create a prompt to tell the user what we want them to type in. So within a write line statement, let's say, what's your name? And then try this again. Okay, what's your name? Now the user knows that they have to type in their name. So type in your first name, hit enter, hello, whatever your first name is. Okay, this time let's accept a user's age and then we'll typecast the user's age into an integer variable. So let's copy what we have, paste it, console.writeline, what's your age? And we'll create a new variable of the int data type named age. Now we'll need to cast this user input into an integer. So to do that, we would type convert dot to int 32 parentheses semicolon. Now take this statement without the semicolon, cut it, and then paste it within the parentheses. So what we're doing is accepting some user input, then converting it to an integer that we're storing within this variable age. And then we will display the user's age console.writeline you are plus age plus years old. Then let's run this again. So our program is actually going to wait at each prompt until the user types something in. So what's your name, bro? Let's say that I'm 21, I'll hit enter. Hello, bro, you are 21 years old. Now, one issue that you may run into is if the user types in something that's non-numeric and we try and convert it. So let's try this again. What's your name? Bro. And instead of an age, what if I type in a word like pizza? This will cause an exception. An exception will interrupt our program. And this specific exception is a format exception. Input string was not in a correct format. So there will be a future video on handling exceptions, which will prevent the program from pausing and being interrupted. But that's a future video. In the meantime, we'll just have to be sure that we're entering in the correct user input. Well, okay then everybody, that's how to accept some user input in C Sharp. I will post this code to the comments section down below. And well, yeah, that's how to accept user input in C Sharp.